welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenna Lee Miller, for those of you who don't know, and this is JLM Vlogs. I'm still working on the song, but anyway, hello. Today is Tuesday of our three days off from Oliver at Sharon Playhouse, so I thought I would take you along with my two days off going back into a two doche on Thursday. So I woke up this morning, I did some work on my laptop, and I woke up to lots of emails saying that we had a positive case for COVID within our cast. So one of our amazing understudies, Jack, is going on for Mr. Sourberry on the both shows on Thursday. So I got an email to think about because I'm the dance captain to start thinking about what tracks other people will have to cover during some of the big group numbers. Um, so I was looking at my script this morning. We will be having a rehearsal tomorrow. That's a lie. A rehearsal Thursday morning before our two shows for that. So I do have to swing by the playhouse today to get a little COVID test. I feel negative, but Who's to say at this point, you know? I have a fun day planned today with my show Rumi Grace, so I'm gonna take you along for that. But first, I gotta get ready, you know? I have been really bad about wearing sunscreen every day until I got this, whoopsie, this super goop stuff. It's pretty pricey. <laughs> It was like $55 for this little jar, but it has lasted me really long. And I will say, getting older, I'm approaching 30 soon. Um, I'm taking my skincare more seriously, which means wearing sunscreen every day, every single day, as Super Goop says. So I have been doing that more often now. I've also just been taking better care of my skin. I've also been getting facials regularly, Obviously not when I'm on contracts, but um, I'm going in here with a vitamin C serum. I'm not wearing much makeup today just because we're gonna go explore basically a little town, but normally I would put some primer on if I was wearing more makeup, but today I'm just gonna do some light makeup. I've really been into the CoverGirl clean products lately. This stuff is so good. And it's like, it matches my skin tone perfectly. I'm loving it actually. Just for like light coverage. I also use their little concealer stick, which for me some days, all I really need is a concealer stick and then this light powder and that acts as my foundation. It's good to give your skin a break on some days, I have found, especially when you're doing a show and I'm really caking it on on the show days, especially when there's two show days where I'm putting makeup on, doing a show, eating lunch, taking like my lipstick off and like some of it off and then putting more makeup on. <laughs> Recipe for clogged pores. Tried and true, makeup forever. This is my holy grail product. I've been using it four years and I actually just bought a new one. I will always restock that product because it is my favorite. I've been pretty good lately about staying hydrated, but Sometimes I forget. Also, if you saw one of my most recent reels that I posted, I posted an understudy rehearsal reel and I'm carrying like four drinks into the theater. And I always call myself a drink goblin. Drink goblin? Which I thought this was a common term that everyone knew and used, but apparently it's not. So I'm coining it now. If you are also a drink goblin, comment down below so we can start a fun club because I have to have like 
a water, two waters, a tea, like something with caffeine, maybe a Gatorade. Like I'm just a drink goblin and I'm okay with that. Maybe even a little spin drift. I like something bubbly sometimes that's not soda. So I am okay with my drink goblin tendencies and I need it to catch on so I don't seem weird saying it, you know? I found the makeup bag. Also, I can't be the only one who uses multiple mascaras and brushes when they put their mascara on, right? Maybe I'm gonna title this episode, Do You Do This Too? I think that will be the title. I have been getting my eyelashes lifted and tinted for a while now. Um, I really have been enjoying it, but I will say it doesn't last too, too long, but they gave me, I went to Lashes by Gab in, it was Saucon Valley when I was home in PA, and they gave me these little spools to brush my eyelashes out and I love them. You have been thinking about getting your eyelashes lifted and tinted. I highly recommend. They look so good and you're not damaging them like you do when you get eyelash extensions. You get the look of having lifted like darker lashes without wearing mascara, which oh, chef's kiss you know, how you want your lashes to look all the time, but they don't, <laughs> you know? Maybe someone else does this because that's the theme of the episode, this episode of the series. When I'm in a show and I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna put on some light makeup. Like I just did a full face of makeup. Like, did I really need to contour to go out exploring in a small town today? No, I didn't, but when I'm in a show, this feels like light makeup, you know? Does that make sense? Like it feels like it's like not that much, even though I'm doing a full face of makeup. 2.28, ah, I told Grace I would be ready by 2.30. So I'm a little bit behind, that's okay. The face is done. It is raining outside, so I do think, set it. I've been using this NYX setting spray. It's pretty good. Ooh, I just swallowed some of that. For being a cheap product, I think it's a good dupe, especially for the <clears throat> Urban Decay All Nighter Spray that I normally like to use, but you know, sometimes you just can't pay that, you know? Sometimes my heart is like, oh, I just can't pay that for setting spray. Okay, I'm gonna get changed and then I'm gonna check back in with you maybe when we're in the car driving so I can tell you what the heck we're doing today because I haven't done that yet. Okay, bye. Okay, before we leave, this is Grace, showroomy bestie. We're gonna do a little fit check for you. Ooh. Fit check, Ooh. shoes, Ooh. outfit. Sneakers. We're going cash today. Mm -hmm. All right, see you in the car. Okay, so we are at the playhouse. We are about to go get tested for COVID. So let's do it. Okay, so we just took our tests here. Um, <laughs> we just sent a timer for 15 minutes. Jenna is sweating. I'm sweating because I'm nervous. She's I don't nervous. have COVID, but I'm nervous. So Jenna, that's... stop looking at it. <laughs> I need to put it down. Okay, so now I guess we can tell you, I guess if we don't have COVID, I'll tell you what we're actually doing today. So we are both huge Gilmore Girl fans. Anyone I just else? watched it this past year and I I was addicted to it. It's so good, we love it so much. So did you know, fun fact, Gilmore Girls is actually based on Washington, Connecticut, which is very close to where we are. So we're gonna take a little day trip, road trip, and we're gonna go to Washington and take some pictures and you know maybe get some maybe get coffee yeah um eat some food come in the vlog i'm oh, yeah. sorry, sorry. <laughs> i'm shy i've never vlogged before we're gonna get some coffee yeah. have some food maybe get some i don't know what's something they eat in gilmore girls um 
they eat a lot anything of food yeah any food. they eat a, food. they eat so they eat probably like 5000 no 500,000 calories a day yeah so th we're going to do they're that this big. <laughs> yeah which they're we're like not. we're eating ice cream and pizza and chinese food for breakfast lunch and dinner exactly so i hear there's lots of like little gift sh shops and things like that so we're going to go shop there but let us drive there we'll see you there soon <laughs> We're here. We're here at our first stop. We are at the What's inn it? and spa that the creator came to when she first created Gilmore Girls. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna see if we can go in, question mark. And there's a sign over there that says, please remove your shoes. <laughs> so it's hoity-toity, basically. <laughs> Okay, so this was not on our list, but we stumbled upon it. Does not, does this not look like the inn before they make it into the Dragonfly Inn, like before they do all the renovations? Like the pillars and stuff. Yeah, like it looks so much like it. I'm not sure if this is based on fact or anything, but we had to stop by because it looked cool. <laughs> Apparently to the locals, this place, Marty's, is the local spot where everyone goes for breakfast and lunch every day. So we're going to go in and get a little snack. So we are midway through our journeying of Washington, Connecticut, and we just got a very interesting email from the Playhouse that there are four confirmed cases of COVID and our final weekend, which is six shows, are canceled. <laughs> so now I'm trying to figure out what to do because tomorrow I have to, spoiler, I'm going to New York, I'm going to see a show, and then I have an event to go to after, and I also have to film a callback in the city. And then I'm supposed to go to my next contract, which I guess silver lining, I now don't have to be late for that contract. So I'm trying to figure out how I can get to Roanoke, Virginia by Friday. It is now Tuesday, so I'm trying to figure out all those details. But let's finish exploring because we just got to Town Hall and the cute little Washington sign. So we're going to explore some more. All right, bye. Here we are, Washington, we're in downtown. Woohoo, the hills are alive with Gilmore Girls. <laughs> Welcome to the Frederick Gunn School, which is a boarding school, which is what Chilton is based off of. How cool. This actually looks like a college campus. It's wild that kids go to school here. They live here. It's a boarding school. We're in the middle of nowhere, Connecticut. But like, look how beautiful this is. This is the, where they eat. Sadly, the Po is closed right now, but this is what the Weston Bakery is based on in Gilmore Girls. How cute! Sing 
packed up our dressing room and it was so sad. It's so sad going in there. Everyone's in masks, but I'm going to head to the city now and I feel so like undone. Like this shouldn't be the end, but it is. But it's time to head to the city and on to the next show, right? The actor's life. Mm. dying the room is a mess I'm gonna call that scene done so we just finished watching Sesame Street the musical this is my friend Hi. <laughs> and now we're gonna get some food but look at her cocktails so what Spencer what did you think of Sesame Street the musical. It was fabulous. It was so it was cute, so right? Good scene, like, like, the kids yeah, the kids were really cute. It was, it was so good. Um, can I do uh, one classic chocolate chip? Let's try. Let's try. I got a classic chocolate chip because I've never had just a plain chocolate chip. What did you, you get? I do a little bite of my fun honey. Oh, yes, fun honey. Cheers. Cheers, my doll. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. Yep. Classic. You can't go wrong. Hello, it is Thursday. What would have been a two-show day for Oliver has now turned into a road trip with all my stuff and my mom. We're driving to Mill Mountain to Virginia. So it has been a complete change of plans, but you know, you gotta adapt, right? We just made a essential road trip stop at Chick-fil-A. Um, it says we're going to arrive at 1.36, so probably around 2 p.m. till we like stop, get gas, pee, you know, all that good stuff. And then I move into my housing and then our first rehearsal starts tomorrow morning. I'm so excited. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog tomorrow, but I guess I'll show you my housing later today. But I wanted to check in and say hello, and we are on the road. Cheers. Hello, I am now in Roanoke, Virginia. I got to my super cute room. I'm very excited about it. There's air conditioning. Oh, um, I just went to the grocery store. I unpacked everything. My stuff is literally everywhere. So I'm going to organize that. But um, I'm having a little trouble with the, the blind. Um, there's a singular blind and I'm having a little trouble um, so my window may just always be open. I'm going to try and fix that. Hello, it is Friday. We made it to the end of the week. It has been such a crazy week. I, <laughs> it's hard to even wrap my head around everything that has happened and how much my plans have changed. But it is Friday morning. I'm about to soon head over to rehearsal. I just ate some breakfast. And today is the first day of school. 
You know, first days of schools will never not be exciting. I, I just, I do feel there is a huge lack of closure from my last show. Like I feel very, like it's not over. I mean, I still have the script sitting on the desk right there, but um, it's time to move on. Life of an actor, right? So I'm excited for this first day of school. I'm a little tired, not gonna lie. <laughs> you know, show up as we are. I am about to head out maybe in like 15-ish minutes. I gotta do my hair still. And I have to record a first day of school reel. And then I'm gonna head over to the theater. We have our first day music rehearsal today. We're literally doing music all day, which sounds good to me. So I'm excited. Um, I'll give you a little tour of my room. Then I think this is where I'm gonna sign off. Thank you so much for joining me on this vlog that turned into a much longer vlog than I thought, into a much different vlog than I thought, but you saw all my days off, you saw me traveling here, oh my god, whew. Anyway, make sure to like and subscribe, more vlogs are coming, JLM out.